The story of Mr. Gomez who lived in Spain and who had worked in the company of sales of products and national plastics since he was 17 began as a doorman and maintained the machines and then as logistics manager then as head of finished products and then was in charge of the whole of wholesale sales and exports many times. He was moved from a position not because he did not do his job well but because he did not feel comfortable and because his performance was optimal they gave him the opportunity to change the area. But in fact, deep inside him, he wanted to know how the business worked in this company. Mr. Gomez eventually became the sub-manager of sales and marketing areas of the company, but was previously called public sale and advertising. He walked through all the areas of that company, but when he got to interact with the buyers, something made him think that this area was the heart of the whole company, and he felt that the general manager of the corporation should stay there by chance one day. He was son of the original owner assumed when his father died and in those days He was absent and gave him the opportunity to negotiate that came from China Mr. Gomez always was learning some words in the language of the representatives of said company And he used a man as an interpreter to speak the Mandarin language and that was the step that catapulted him and the company Because the representatives of that company were very satisfied with the agreements and the way that meeting had been held until then well but exports and exchanges of raw material would be the basis of the company Mr. Gomez went beyond simple negotiation and bought new and state-of-the-art machinery in the manufacture of plastics This deal allowed the company not only to supply the customers of his country But to nearby countries in Europe in fact a great feat Thus the years passed and in merit to his good development. He became part of the board of shareholders of that company he always went against the traditional so hard work and became an eminence for everyone turned 55 He did not lend attention to that continued to work and as usual until one day a young man was assigned as an attachment The order came from the high command of the business Mr. Gomez did not understand why that had happened It became full with everything yet and the company was growing by up to 22 percent quarterly for a year Did not present any objection and left it as an aid for him but the young man continued close to all his movements and his steps and in fact he began to know everything that mr Gomez did so he began to get uncomfortable in his work The young man walked with an agenda of notes all the time and asked questions, but not being able to happen. Mr Gomez wondered he couldn't stand it anymore and decided to speak with the owner of the company But in the first instance he did not succeed his case was taken to the shareholders meeting but Mr. Gomez was not willing to be treated as any person or any employee took his car and he drove 500 kilometers to talk to the owner who was in a family reunion arrived and took him by surprise and said now you're busy and you cannot attend me while I take care of your business said Mr. Gomez something obfuscated the owner treated him as a trivial thing and said sit down look my good friend I think you should retire now and you're tired you need to rest. I don't know just what you thought the owner replied that he's already 60 years old of course I'm going to die right mr. Gomez said interrupting well mr. Gomez said I still feel in all my faculties but if you think that I will not help you I will not discuss it but I will not retire because you would only give me a liquidation and then a miserable salary that probably does not reach me at all I will give you two options boy the first is that you voluntarily give me 30% of your actions but as these things are not going to happen and I do not think you do it. I have a second option Look, you do not know how to do business boy The owner tried to interrupt it, but mr. Gomez did not leave it and this is my second option and listen to me because it's the last time you might see my face This said while holding his trembling half right hand pointing a finger towards the sky I worked all my life for this company when I committed with your father to be a good worker and I told him that we would carry out this unfortunately you do not think like he is in all your right. I will leave the company, but in a year, I want you to triple me is the salary during that year and my liquidity with what you think my worth was. After that, I'll retire. The owner of the company was mute, but he agreed to his request. Well, he was already going back and told him, uh, I do not need you to put me an apprentice. He's an expert in everything. You do not need to know anything about this old man's knowledge. I already have my apprentice. And saying this he took his old mercedes-benz car and it went like this It was done as they had been the company was still booming Mr. Gomez got his salaries and the owner of the corporation 
He gave a good amount of money as a liquidation, but he gave up receiving a retirement. So Mr. Gomez left. Mr. Gomez was no longer finding someone trustworthy, gave up on shopping, so the company faced a crisis for the first time in years. They turned to the person in charge of the job. The apprentice graduated in all honors. The owner looked for the best professionals to find out what had happened with sales and why they were falling precipitously, but they were barely resisting the fall. There was no way that the price of the company's stock was in danger. Growth stopped. Mr. Gomez had that a scholar in the sales system, and at that time, he didn't know very simple. Mr. Gomez was a friend of nothing more and nothing less than 65% of the best buyers and importers that both raw material and exporters of products, friends of the plastics giant. In a month, Mr. Gomez called everyone, his friends, and he gave them notice that he would open his own corporation. But he didn't say it begging for purchases or business. He simply planned to celebrate his birthday in each of the houses of the plastic giants. The message was simple. Friends is my onomastic, and I would like to celebrate by visiting them in their homes. Nobody refused that request. They knew Mr. Gomez passed away, but he gave advice to his grandson, who was the apprentice, and who would be in charge of said corporation. Be friends with all those people who they pay our vacations are not just numbers and tickets, are friends with knowledge and desires, and we know them all. You don't need to know so much. If you know well those who feed you, you look at your fellow man as God sees you yourself. It's also to say that the other corporation today seldom sells nationwide, unlike the corporation Gomez, the plastic giant. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.